valent fractions. Today, let us learn equivalent fractions. Look at these rectangles. All are of the same size, but each rectangle has been divided into different number of parts. The fractions for the shaded region of each rectangle are as follows. Half of the rectangle is yellow. Two-fourth of the rectangle is yellow. Three-sixth of the rectangle is yellow. Four-eighth of the rectangle is yellow. Five-tenth of the rectangle is yellow. Here, half, two-fourth, three-sixth, four-eighth and five-tenth all represent half part of the whole rectangle. These fractions are called equivalent fractions. Thus, we say two or more fractions that show the same part of the whole are called equivalent fractions. That is, half is equal to two-fourth is equal to three-sixth is equal to four-eighth is equal to five-tenth. Let us see how we can obtain the equivalent fractions of a given fraction. When we multiply the numerator and the denominator of a given fraction by the same number, we obtain its equivalent fractions. Now, let us solve an example to understand it in a better way. Find the equivalent fractions of 3 fourth. Let us multiply the numerator and the denominator of the fraction with the number 2. We get 3 into 2 upon 4 into 2, which is equal to 6 upon 8. Next, let us multiply with number 5. We get 3 into 5 upon 4 into 5, which is equal to 15 upon 20. Multiplying with number 7, we get 3 into 7 upon 4 into 7, which is equal to 21 upon 28. Multiplying with 8, we get 3 into 8 upon 4 into 8, which is equal to 24 upon 32. Thus, 6 upon 8, 15 upon 20, 21 upon 28, 24 upon 32 are few equivalent fractions of 3 upon 4. We can also find out if two fractions are equivalent or not by cross-multiplying. If both the products are equal, then they are equivalent fractions. Let us see a few examples. Example 1. 2 upon 5 and 4 upon 10. Here, we cross-multiply the numbers. That is, we multiply 2 and 10 and 5 and 4. We know 2 into 10 is equal to 20 and 5 into 4 is equal to 20. Here, both the products are equal. Thus, 2 upon 5 and 4 upon 10 are equivalent fractions. We write it as 2 upon 5 is equivalent to 4 upon 10. 
Now, let us see another example. 4 upon 7 and 8 upon 21. Here, on cross-multiplying the numbers, we get 4 into 21 is equal to 84 and 7 into 8 is equal to 56. Here, both the products are different. Thus, 4 upon 7 and 8 upon 21 are not equivalent fractions. We write it as 4 upon 7 is not equivalent to 8 upon 21. Kids, remember, after cross-multiplying, if both the products are equal, then they are equivalent fractions. If both the products are not equal, then they are not equivalent fractions.